Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will see how we can install the OpenSSH server on Windows Server 2019 and the same step you can follow for the Server 2022 as well. If you talk about like what is OpenSSH, it is an open source version of a secure SSH tool used by the administrators of Linux and other non-Windows for managing system remotely. And OpenSSH has been added to Windows in 2018 and it is included in both like Windows Server and Windows Client as well. If you say why it is used, it is used because OpenSSH is a connectivity tool for remote sign-in that uses the SSH protocol and it encrypts all traffic between the client and server to eliminate the evasion dropping, connection hijacking and other attack as well. So let's move on to the server and get started with the OpenSSH installation on Windows Server 2019. So right now we are on our server that is Windows Server 2019. If we go to the settings and inside the system, if we search for the optional feature, you can see here the manage optional features. If you click here, you can see this OpenSSH client. It is installed by default, but we cannot see the OpenSSH server here. So let me close this and open the PowerShell. If I run this commandlet get windows capability online where object name is like OpenSSH. You can see the OpenSSH client it is installed but the OpenSSH server is not present. So what we are going to do we will install this OpenSSH server on this machine. We will run this commandlet add windows capability online name OpenSSH server this version. Let me hit enter. It's running. Now you can see it is installed. Let me check it now. Now you can see that OpenSSH client and OpenSSH server both are installed. And if I check the service like get service SSHD, you can see the service status is stopped. And same way if I check with the SSH agent service, the status of SSH agent service is also stopped. We will run this commandlet set service name sshd startup type should be automatic and same I will do with this ssh agent as well. Let me start the service by this command start service sshd same I will do with the ssh agent as well. Now if you see the get service ssh agent it's running and if you see get service sshd it is also running. We have installed the ssh server and we started the service and set the service on automatic on startup. We also have to configure the firewall rule for this. So for this, I will enable the rule for OpenSSH server. So now it says firewall rule OpenSSH server has been created and it exists. Now let's try to connect it with the putty. Let's see the IP of this computer. It's 192.168.2.60 and I have install the putty here so let's put the IP as 2.60 and I will hit enter you can see it's asking to accept the connection let me accept it and log in as the administrator and I'll put the password now you can see it is logged in and if I see the DIR you can see the directories time you can see it's 639 here here's the time 639 for this server select date you can see the date as well or you can enter the new date if you want to set it. If you type volume. So now the putty has been successfully connected. You can connect this server remotely from putty. So we have successfully installed our OpenSSH server and created the firewall rule and started the service. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.